wisp is red. A S M Hello there. This is Emma. This book was in my Christmas stocking and it's all about something I'm very interested in. I thought we could have a look through it together. It's a paperback book called The Fragrant Pharmacy. A complete guide to aromatherapy and Essential Oils by Valerie Ann Warwood Published by Bantam Books The Fragrant Pharmacy opens the way to a whole world of fresh possibilities. It is a new approach to nature through one of its most powerful forms, those fragrant essential oils, drawn from flowers and grasses, trees and roots, leaves and fruit, that remain the great untapped resources of our planet. Fragrant Pharmacy shows how each essential oil can offer many diverse benefits. One of the most holistic of all systems of medicine, the oils can alleviate symptoms, prevent many illnesses and disorders, and help in their healing process. But more than that, they can provide all of us, our families, our homes, even our pets, with the protections and pleasures we need without the chemical pollution of our bodies or our environment. This book is household manual on aromatherapy. Let's have a look inside. The colours and the flowers and the fruit on the Valerie Ann Warwood is internationally acknowledged as one of the world's leading aromatherapists. And she's the author of several books on the matter. Dedicated to my daughter Emma Daisy and my mother Vera. So we have the contents of the book, and all of the different sections listed by page number. There is an introduction to the Fragrant Pharmacy, and here 
In the contents you can see that there's a long list of different sections to refer to in the book. Here there is a natural choice for men, so things specifically for men including heart care, body awareness, the reproductive system, liver, molding, the skin fitness regime, and help in maturing years, celebrations, so you can make different combinations of oils for different times of the year, cooking with essential oils, there are mixtures for different rooms in the house, natural health for domestic animals, and let's have a look occupational oils for the working man and woman and there are different oils for different scenarios at work so we have the office, factory, hospital, combinations of oils for interviews and exams, self-hypnosis for relaxation quite interesting. Burns, stress. Let's have a look at stress. So that would be page 102. Arguably, everyone in the whole world is under stress at some of some description. It might be positive stress, of the sort joggers voluntarily put themselves under, or the negative stress that comes from, for example, from sitting in an open plan office with a dozen telephones ringing at any given point in time. The kinds of stress and degrees of it are manifold and so the oils we use and the combinations must reflect this diversity. So it says here, first of all, let us distinguish between positive stress normal stress and distress. Pos positive stress could be des described as a high, the excited tension you get when performing your job fast and efficiently. Sheer joy of being a human being accomplishing something. Normal stress is a state during which the body performs its functions for survival in response to circumstances. And distress, however, is another thing. This is when the healthy stress becomes chronic. And here we look at the various types and degrees of stress and the oils which are best suited to deal with them. Of course, different types can exacerbate the other so that the environmental stress you suffer at work can cause mental stress which, when taken home, 
can lead to emotional stress. So the oils recommended for environmental stress caused by, for example, bright lights over your desk, noise of machinery, would be cedarwood, coriander, geranium, cypress, chamomile, roman, basil and bergamot. And then it goes on to list all the other combinations for different types of stress. It's quite useful. Here, if we go back to the contents, there is a section for face oils, which is quite interesting, and there's also problem skin, and then we have the neck, the eyes, the lips, teeth and gums. Let's have a look at face oils, which is 156. Essential oils make marvellous face oils. In this section, treatments are given for three types of skin and, in general, you need 30 drops of essential oil for each 30ml base oil, unless specified. If you want a more intensive treatment, use 45 drops of essential oil. Combination skin is a patchwork of normal, oily and dry skin, with the oily patches usually occurring on the forehead, nose and chin. And these are often accompanied by blackheads. Treat combination skin as normal skin, and if oily patches are a problem, use the face oils for oily skin on those areas. As the skin starts to balance, you can adjust the treatment accordingly. Our skins can change quite rapidly, so do take notice of the changes and be ready to switch oils. So let's have a look at normal skin. Really, there is no such thing as normal skin, of course. Or more correctly, children have normal skin and the rest of us aspire to it. The perfect skin of pre-puberty is plump in the sense that the cells are plump neither dry nor oily, firm and solid, finely textured with no visible pores, spots or blemishes. Soft and velvety to the touch and unwrinkled. Adults can only yearn for this perfection and we call skin normal if it reaches somewhere near it. If you have skin that falls into this category, you could use almost any essential oil on your skin preparations, but you, should, but you should stick to the gentle or even the sensitive type of oils to ensure that your skin remains near perfect. Evenly balanced skin oil bases. So you would want to use either almond, hazelnut, apricot kernel as your base oil and so you could 
had additions to the base oil, which would be jojoba, borage seed, evening primrose, and carrot. So those all have different properties. Essential oils for evenly balanced skin. So to add to our base oil, we can add chamomile, geranium, lavender, rose, neroli, palmarosa, lemon, fennel, jasmine, boy de rose, frankincense, and benzoin. And I know for sure that frankincense has amazing preservative qualities, so to use that in your facial oil would be a good idea. So for a day moisturiser for evenly balanced skin, we would use rose, 15 drops, German chamomile, 5 drops, lavender, 5 drops, and lemon, 5 drops. And this is diluted into 30 ml of almond or hazelnut oil. This moisturiser should be applied to damp skin. Massage it in and then dab the face with a tissue until no excess oil shows on the tissue. And for a night care oil, and this is for evenly balanced skin, we would use geranium, 10 drops, palmarosa, 10 drops, fennel, five drops, lemon, five drops, and we can dilute it in 30 ml of apricot kernel oil, to which you have added 10 drops of evening primrose oil. If you feel that your skin needs extra nourishment, add five drops of carrot oil. So that's very interesting and I would expect that it could be a cheaper way of mixing your own facial oils. And of course you have control over which quality oils you buy so you know exactly what is going in the product which is going on your face. So homemade is always a good idea and that goes for food as well. So let's have a look what it says about essential care for your hair. There is a section about normal hair and dry hair, greasy, fragile, falling hair, hair loss and dandruff. Let's have a look at the dry hair, which is 201. Something which I suffer with a little bit in the winter, so, and I know lots of people do as well. 201.
when you have dry hair, not enough, not enough sebum is being produced by the sebaceous gland to provide the hair with the protective lubricant. As a result, the hair can become damaged, tangled, split and broken. The bad condition of such hair is easily aggravated by chlorine in swimming pools, not too much sun and sea and, of course, continual bleaching and tinting. Overexposure to the sun and sea frequently leads to a greasy scalp with dry brittle ends. And what could also be added to this would be high heat hair tools like straighteners or curlers. So essential oils for dry hair Lavender, rosemary, geranium, birch, carrot, parsley, yarrow, and sandalwood. And vegetable oils and waxes for dry hair. Sesame, jojoba, evening primrose, borage, peach kernel, almond, cocoa butter, sunflower and avocado. So here's a recipe to make your own shampoo. 225 ml of soap stew with one teaspoon of almond oil, two drops of lavender, and five drops carrot, one drop of parsley, and that makes a stimulating oil. You mix those in a blender. And for moisturising shampoo, you add again 225 ml of soap stew with 2 teaspoons peach kernel oil, 5 drops of jojoba oil, 5 drops of carrot oil and two drops of sandalwood. And you mix those in a blender. There is also a recipe for a conditioning treatment using the Bain Mari method. I would have to Google that because I'm not sure what the Bain Mari method is or Bain Mari method. It's one teaspoon of lecithin base. One teaspoon of sesame oil, one tablespoon of cold pressed almond oil, sweet, one tablespoon of peach kernel oil, two drops of avocado oil. Two drops of borage oil or evening primrose oil, two drops of carrot oil, 
four drops of parsley oil and three drops of geranium. Apply all over the scalp while the oil is still warm but not hot. Leave for 10 minutes and then shampoo off. This conditioning treatment works especially well if you can sit in the sun while it's on the hair. And that would be to keep it nice and warm so that the oils can sink in to your hair. There is also a section for greasy hair and even some information on how to make a dry shampoo. Fragile hair, hair loss, that's interesting. There's also a section for dendruff tea. So that's a really interesting book. And I shall be adding to my collection of essential oils over time. And I have quite a few already. But once I have built them up to lots, then I shall make a video with those too. I hope you enjoyed looking through this book with me. I hope you enjoyed the sounds and some of the information in there. If it's something you are interested in yourself, Maybe you know of a book that is useful too, and you could let me know. You take care, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.